Good day everyone and welcome to day four of the Bailey's Do Disney California vlog series. Um, it today, day four. it is day four already. Day four, I don't know why it goes so quickly. I know it's going super quick isn't yeah. it? We're off to Disneyland today. Oh, we've got some uh, rides to get on, some snacks we're to eat. Make root drop for and the we first Yeah, time we ever. left early, we were up early, we left early, we can't wait for it. So um, yeah, let's get to Disney and stop talking and get a move on folks. Woo! 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 You excited Callan? Very. You excited, Paige? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, yeah, woo -hoo. Are you excited, Mummy? Yeah. Top tip of the day is when you go through bag search. Sorry, Mike's random tangent tip of the day. I'm slacking. When you go through bag search, go left for DCA because the queues to get bag search are so much shorter than the um, Disneyland line. It doesn't matter. And it, yeah, it doesn't matter either way. Then you just come through and then you go right to Disneyland, left to DCA. Um, I will say they're a lot more thorough on the bag search here than they are in Disney World. I don't know why that is, but it's good. They spend about literally three, four minutes on each bag, like looking through everything, which is really good. But yeah, we're going to come in now. It's 7.54, so we've got six minutes till rope drop. Just wanted to show you guys how quiet it was in Disneyland. It's literally, like we're used to comparing this to like Disney World. We just had a picture in front of the castle. Um, honestly, just scan around and just show them how quiet it is. It's ridiculous. We're gonna start the day off. Well, even if you wanna stand by, it's only five minutes, but I think we've got a, um, a lightning lane for Big Thunder Mountain, which is right here. Uh, But yeah, literally rope drop in Disneyland, you get on all the good rides within seconds. Are you ready guys? You excited? Very. So we've just off of Big Thunder Mountain. Verdict, guys? So good. It was good. It was better. really good. I think it was better as well. I, um, it was a bit different. Everything is a bit different to Disney World and Magic Kingdom. Um, that was really good. However, what I will say is, um, Page Pop doesn't like um, loud noises. So fireworks, Indiana, stunt show in um, Hollywood Studios, stuff like that. She wears, uh, she wears her ear defenders. There was a part of that that was really loud. I mean, even for me, I was like, wow. So I covered her ears as best I could. but. It it's didn't ruin. Note, it? Yeah, it's just something to note. It's not a random tangent tip of the day by, by any means, but it is definitely worth knowing that that ride has got some loud uh, noise on. Um, so she really enjoyed it. She had her hands up the whole time, but that was sort of the very end, and it says that she just come off saying, I didn't like it because of that bit. So it kind of put a damper on it, but it's fine. We're off now, aren't we? We're going to go and have some fun. Should we go and get something to eat? Yeah? Yeah. Now we're entering Galaxy's Edge. It's mental, the transition from one land to another at this place. You just wouldn't even know. You just went one minute, you're in Frontierland. The next minute, you're in, you're in Galaxy's Edge. It's mad. But yeah, we'll show you around the place quick. Yeah, let's go have a look at these robots as well. Robots? I'm going to be slated for saying that by... Ever again. <laughs> and slated. <laughs> if, if the Canes are watching this, I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend anyone. I know. By the way, I'm not very um, clued up with Star Wars. I've seen them all, but I'm not. Yeah, they are cool. But um, I refer to Grogu as um, 
as Baby Yoda. And um, our friends, the Canes, they've got Riley, so thank you uh, for watching our dog for us while we're away. Amazing guys. Um, and they're Disney fans as well. But yeah, when I got back, their whole family were like, you called him Baby Yoda. So sorry, if I offend anyone on my Star Wars lack of knowledge, I'm really sorry. So we're just at, um, at Galaxy's Edge. We're about to get the Ronto morning wrap, which we didn't get in May. We wanted to, but we missed, we missed it. it. We missed it. And this is them. Uh, cooking the Ronto. So, oh, there's also a Ronto less garden wrap, which is plant based. So that's pretty cool. So. It is, you can see up there, Ronto morning wrap is $13.49, so probably about $15 after tax. Here it is, the Ronto morning wrap. Stay, Paige, look. Smile. Awesome, thank you. Right away, sir. Yes. How awesome is that? That is awesome. How do you find that page? That page? Yeah. Look at the picture. Oh, so we're at the place where they make the droids. Look, they've got little. Oh, look! How cool is that? Paige has got this droid at home. Um, but we're at the place where they make the droids, uh, exactly the same as the one in in Disney World, except it's so quiet. There's like a few people making droids. When we went to Disney World, I'm not even joking. It was literally, you, you struggled to get in, it was a queue to get in, it was so cramped and crowded. I've said it a few times in this vlog series that Disneyland is just so much quieter and more chilled out and relaxed. Um, even even this place, like everywhere here, we'll try and show you more as we go on. It has been busy, the fireworks were busy, but just in general, there's there just seems to be more of a relaxed, chilled out vacation vibe, I guess, rather than the hustle and bustle of Disney World. Callum's uh, getting a selfie. We'll have to put the selfie up separately, but I just told him to run and get a selfie. That! How awesome is that? Can we have a look at the selfie? We'll put it up. How awesome is that? <laughs> that is the difference Yay. between Disney World and Disneyland. They literally just walk around taking selfies on my days. So that was a question that a few people have asked. Um, about the characters in Disneyland and Disney World, they seem a lot more interactive and just, I can't even explain it, I'm trying to explain it, but in Disney World, it's like a, seems like a bit of a process. I called it a sausage factory to some American family yesterday and they were like, what's a sausage factory? As so basically, in Disney World, you, you queue up, you get your picture, you do your autographs and you're out and it's a system and it's, a, it's just, yeah, very sequential and you go through it. In Disneyland, there's no pressure, everyone's just, the characters just walking around, just walking around the park. You stop them, can I take a selfie? It is amazing. These we've got on our last trip, we're not going to get one today, but we've got these. The little Coke bottles and Sprite bottles, but that's the theme and alcohol's that. So we've just eaten our breakfast Ronto Rooster wrap. It was thing. really good. I didn't have any, oh, those three did, I was just, I'm not really hungry. I, I think that cheesecake. The cheesecake yeah, coffees. Gonna, yeah, full up. <laughs> um, but run away now, Callum's gonna go on Space Mountain. He's gonna go on by himself because we're not a massive fan of Space Mountain, are we? It hurts my back. Yeah, it hurts my back. And I just get a bit of motion sickness on it. Um, so Callum wants to do it, which is cool. So we're gonna walk over there now. Um, I'm gonna try and grab a, a coffee as well, another cold brew on the way. And then we've got um, Rise of Resistance. And then after Rise of Resistance, we have got Haunted Mansion. Uh, oh my days. I just seen a character that I really want to go and meet. And then I, and in fact, I have to meet him because he's my favorite character of all time. The Mad Hatter is right in front of me and I'm, I'm, I'm having a fangirl moment. <laughs> he's over here, baby. That's Callum on his way to Space Mountain. See you on the other side, Callum. Holiday special. Toffee pretzel, cream cheese filled pretzel sprinkled with toffee sugar. Can we get toffee pretzel, please? Anything else, friend? Anything else? Uh, that's everything, thank you. Thank you. 825, please. Thanks, that is really. <laughs> it's really funny, isn't it? So, Sarah's eating her pretzel. It was a um, toffee and cream cheese holiday special pretzel. I just had a bite and I was like, wow, that was really nice. You would never think of putting cream cheese 
and Toffee together just wouldn't ever happen. And then Sarah looked at me and went, Cheesecake, you had one this morning, the same flavour? And I was like, ah, oh. yeah, I had a Michael moment. But now Sarah won't let me live it down. It happens often, but the moral of the story is the toffee and cheese pretzel was really good. So that's all we need to focus on right now. Please note the lack of crowds everywhere. It's really weird, isn't it? Yeah, I know this is just normal with Disneyland, but because we're so used to it being so crowded in Disney World, this just seems like weird. Like it just, yeah, but I'm not complaining. This little duck here, living his best life. Hey dude, I haven't got anything for you. Ladies I've just come to say hello. Well and although that Donald is a very popular duck, you're my favorite, okay? Hope you have a good day, buddy. We're now on our way to Rise of Resistance, which we can't wait. Here we are at Rise of Resistance. It's a 75 minute um, standby line, Rally. or we've got a lightning lane. I am Lieutenant Beck. As you heard from Ray, I have been tasked with getting you to Pekara. And hold on, recruits! Morning. Move along. Great, great, not you, Greg. Not Greg, Greg. Thank you, have a good day. Don't thank me again. <laughs> now, you will pay. Did it work? <laughs> good, now get a move on. <laughs> Wait, if it wasn't a prisoner. All right, nice job, recruits. Not what you sign on for, but hey, you resist this now. I think I have that authority. So on each of these carts, they have these little guys. And they're so cool. So we'll have to look out for these, FH. They're cool, aren't they? Yeah. So each of these carts have a different person doing it. Obviously, we got Oogie Boogie right near the Haunted Mansion, so we're gonna have to find more of these. Haunted Mansion time, Paige. You excited? Yeah. Paige has been super excited to go on Haunted Mansion. She's been asking every few minutes. But we're going on now, we're in uh, Lightning Lane for it, which starts here. And then Haunted Mansion is just in there. How oh, cool this is, Paige. So cool. Everyone, what's your name? Come on, don't shout. So we're looking for beignets. We've gone to the wrong place, but we're trying to find the place that's got beignets. This sells good food, though, and it smells amazing. So this is New Orleans. And uh, the bar we need to go to to get the venue is just down here on the right. We asked the lady. We got Blue Bayou there, which is the restaurant we're um, we're eating there tomorrow. Is it Blue Bayou day? Yeah. And that looks amazing. So she said, go all the way down past the train station. It's on your right. Ah, I see it. I see the queue. I see the queue, which means. That, and I see someone eating beignets as a bag of beignets. Here we go, we're gonna mobile order it, I think. So, a little sneak peek. Beignets with maple bacon syrup. And I've just opened them and Callum went, oh, there's so much sugar, but we should have maybe shaken the bag. Top tip, not my tip, it was, I think it was a page of Mr. Mari tip, said, when you get your beignets, shake the bag first. We haven't, and that's the bottom there, all the sugar, but still looks good. So, here they are, the beignets from New Orleans. Really good. And this dipping sauce is good as well. It doesn't look like I've arrived yet. All right, well, I suppose. Let's go look. It's worth my Happy birthday. Thank you, buddy. You're closer to death. How excited. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Come right in. Welcome. What is your name? Ah, very good. Is this your daughter? Oh, your sister! Ah, very good. I like your chipmunks. They are all over you. You are, you are full of chipmunk. Yes, we'll come right in. We'll get up portrait with you. So we went for the corn uh, chowder in a sourdough bread soup, and then the kids' mac and cheese. You can only buy it as a, a kids' meal. You can't buy it on its own. So that's cool. 
because Paige likes these little yogurt pots and you get fruit as well so yeah really looking forward to trying this this is like being highly recommended what's your thoughts on the mac and cheese yeah it's really good yeah and you also have mac and cheese and uh it's all really good it is isn't it yeah highly recommend um well, mac and cheese is really good but the um the uh, uh corn chowder is is really good as well so both really good bread's a bit dry would you say the bread is a bit dry which i i have to say but it tastes good but it's just not as doughy or as soft as i was expecting but the actual mac and cheese is, is a firm win oh and you can i read on a page you can actually get the mac and cheese put in the uh, bread which a lot of people do that um but we wanted to try the corn so we just got a side of mac which is a win-win Oh, look. Thank happy you. <laughs> I just got a happy birthday of someone. I turned around and said, Thank you so much. And I looked, it was Miracle. That was amazing. So the difference between this one in Disneyland and in Disney World, same in Disneyland Paris, same as this one, is the guns actually attached on the lead and aren't attached to the car, so you've got more range of movement, which is awesome. Yeah, they go crazy after rides, after loads of rides, they just interact and go magic colours and vibrate. So we've just come off um, Buzz Lightyear Astro Blasters, just have to look at the name. Um, it's really fun, it's really fun. Uh, similar to the one in Disney World, I was saying though, the one in Disney World, the the gun or the blaster is actually attached to the um, to the cart you're in, whereas the one on Disneyland's one, and I believe in Disneyland Paris as well, it's actually on a, like a cable, so you can just you've got more movement, so you don't have to like just stick to the ca uh, the cart. It's um, yes, yeah, really good fun. Did you enjoy that, Paige? Yep. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna go and grab a uh, cold brew now, and then go and take Pagey Pops on the teacups. Mummy and Callum have gone to get another um toffee pretzel because they were really good and Callum wanted to try it uh, so yeah we're off now let's go and get this cold brew second one of the, the trip so I'm slacking slightly so this place here Rancho del Sacalo Restaurante they do a um, they do a horchacha is it a horchacha how do you pronounce it a cold brew basically um, apparently it's really good it's been recommended so I'm going to grab one of those here is the horchacha cold brew from Rancho del Salcho. Oh, I'd probably pronounce that wrong, but anyway, that is, it looks amazing. We're gonna try this and head to the teacups page. This is the horchata, horchata, cold brew. That's good. Really good. So now that knew, knew that I'm, I'm, I went Scottish then. So now that I'm uh, over halfway through it, I can confirm that it is another nine out of ten, and it's just as good, or on par with the one I had yesterday. So or chatter cold brew is really good, and highly recommended. Hey, Callum. Hey. Thank you. You getting Callum to take one of me, please? Jump in. Thank you very much. Have a lovely time. You didn't jump in. Oh, yes, direction. please. <laughs> Is it okay to grab a picture as well, please? Of course. Yeah. Callum, can Hi, you take dad. one? Hi, dad. Oh, well, come summer, I'll need a big fan for sure. Well, what about me? <laughs> would you, I would like you in as well, Alice, that's okay. Do you mean you let me in? Yes, please. Okay. <laughs>
necessities, the simple bare necessities. Forget about your worries and your strife. I mean the bare necessities, old Mother Nature's recipe, that bring the bare necessities. Just waiting now to watch the Christmas fantasy parade. Um, we've been looking forward to this one for a while. And guys, if, is, if you want the news behind the camera, it's my mum. Um, say hi is, for me. That was a one in four chance that they would get that right. <laughs> so we're just sitting about to watch the parade, and this lovely lady came up and said, Do you like Stitch? and gave Cam this pin here. So, how cool is that? It's a major and day, isn't all, it, mate? They all, um, yeah, they're all matching. Oh, can I see? Yeah, look, they're all matching. That one's got a smile, that one's got his tongue out, that one's got his big smile with teeth showing. Are you happy, Cam? Very. You were saying today you need some more pins, wouldn't you? Yes. Stitch pins. But I still need more. You still need more. <laughs> We are now in the queue for Matterhorn. So we've just done um, Matterhorn. That was horrible. It was horrendous. Horrible. It was horrible. horrendous. You get chucked about. Um, it wasn't fun. I've really hurt my elbow. Paige is, Paige is not happy. Oh, don't cry. Come on, we're going to go on to a, a good ride now, yeah? It Paige, was horrible. Paige hated it too. Yeah, absolutely hated it. It, was, it wasn't anything enjoyable by it. I think, sorry if I'm offending anyone that likes it, but if you like it, you're cray cray because that was horrible. Um, it's just painful. You get jerked about, like, it's painful. just, just not smooth. But I think that's what people like about it. It's an original. It's an OG. So I could see why they will never get rid of it. But yeah, it's um, it's not something I'll be going on again. Are you ready for me to tell you? We've just left the park. Um, it was quite busy because there was a parade about to start. But we've left the park so that we can get an Uber to go to In and Out Burger because we really want to try In and Out Burger. It's like probably the thing I'm most looking forward to trying. Um, however, I don't have Wi Fi on my phone, Sarah does, but I don't have any internet or anything on my phone. So what we've done, which is really, really funny, slash cheeky, we've come to McDonald's across the park, jumped onto their free Wi Fi for an Uber so we can go to another burger place that's better. Um, that's what we're about to do. So we're waiting. Our driver is six minutes away. Um, it's about ten dollars for an Uber to In and Out Burger. Um, nine minute drive or a fifty-five minute walk. So yeah, we wasn't going to walk fifty-five minutes. And we saved so much money not getting a hire car. We've only spent hundred on the uh, Uber to get or taxi to get us from the airport to the hotel. Ten or seven yesterday to get to Target, and then this will be probably twenty all in. And then when we go up to our new hotel, then to the LA Lakers game, there'll be a few times we use it there. But overall, I've, I've started calculating how much we're going to spend on Ubers. And then I'll do, on our Instagram account, Bailey's Do Disney, I'll do um, 
a cost breakdown of how much we spent in total on Ubers and how much we would have spent on a higher car with fuel, with parking, etc. Um, but a question to you guys. When you come to California and Orlando, do you get a hire car or do you just Uber and Lyft? Because it's our first time Uber and Lyfting and it'd be interesting to know what people do because I know it's a split thing and why you choose to do what you do. So yeah, that'd be interesting to find out if you've uh, got that answer or what you do. Just chuck it in the comments down below. In and out burger. So we're at In-N-Out Burger, really excited for this one and it actually looks amazing. So we've got the normal fries here, the animal style fries, just two normal cheeseburgers here and then the animal style cheeseburgers which are loaded um, and then two drinks. All of that was about $36 so really cheap for what we've got. That's just left um, In-N-Out Burger now, wow, by the way, incredible. Um, really well priced as well and uh, yeah it just tastes amazing right. now we'll just come to Walmart just to have a look around which is a few oh Paige has found watermelons that's bigger than you come on inside of a watermelon Paige demanded that she had her own cart and blanket high maintenance there you go <laughs> We had a few things that we didn't get on our last shop. We realised we needed more of these um, dip yeah, pretzels. Yeah, because I'm going to eat them all in my belly. They're, they're mine. Like, no, no, they're going to go straight in my belly. You know, you're just going to say, where's the empty? <laughs> it's going to be me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the peanut butter M&Ms, because you can't get those ones in the UK and they taste amazing. And then dip pretzels for me, nobody else. Hi right, guys, just going to show you the coffee machine in the hotel room. It's all Starbucks, which is really good. Uh, you get two paper cups with it. Uh, with the lids on so you can take it up to go as well. Comes in a single use plastic bag on the outside which isn't great but it is what it is. And the coffee itself, you get four of these, so loads of coffee. And it's a Starbucks um, dark roast. It actually tastes really good. So you've got the bag itself and then it comes in like, it's, this is the, the only bad thing, it's the bag. Then you've got this actual um, sort of pod which is plastic again and then the actual pouch. So it's a lot of single use plastic that just gets binned, which isn't great, but it is what it is, like I say. That goes in the coffee machine. You just fill water up to where you want it on the cup, chuck that in the coffee machine as well, put the lid down, put it underneath, and then just push that button, and that is it. And then you've got filtered coffee in the morning. Um, and like I say, you get four different ones. You get one decaf as well, which is good, and three normal. So yeah, it's, I actually really like it. Cream of sugar um, and all the good stuff as well. So. It's a good, it's honestly a really good machine. It tastes really good as well. <laughs> that concludes day four of our Bailey's Do Disney uh, California vlog series. <laughs> Where did we go today? Uh, Disneyland. Um, baby, baby. <laughs> Disneyland, didn't we? <laughs> I was going to rather say baby, baby, baby. <laughs> yeah, we didn't go there. But yeah, we went to Disneyland. Um, and yeah, it was a really Daddy, good day, wasn't it? Daddy, tell them about the silly ride, what we all hate. They know, yeah, that was our, what's the opposite of a highlight? Low light, low, our low light of the day was going on um, Matterhorn. That, yeah, that wasn't very enjoyable, was it? We didn't enjoy that one at all. The reason Sarah isn't on this vlog is because uh, she's doing her hair. Yeah. Um, so yeah, she's putting she's into this, it. Yeah, she puts it into this like, is it called a dry curl, Sarah? Uh, it's a no heat curler. No heat curler, it's pretty cool. Um, it, her hair looked amazing when she did it this morning, so it was really good. Um, but yeah, what's been your highlight of the day, guys? Go on, Paige, you go Chippendale, first. Chippendale, Chippendale. Come in, ah, come in. Chippendale. You saw Chippendale on, the, tail, on the parade, Christmas didn't you? Tail, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas tail. You saw Chippendale on the parade, didn't you? Uh-huh. Yeah, so that was Paige's highlight of the day. Uh-huh. Um, what about you, Callum? Probably pin trading. My highlight pin of the day? It's a hard one. Seeing the castle. In fact, the lights... Uh, there's oh, the so small much. Lights. Yeah, it's a small light. Like, it was amazing. I've got another one. Food. I've the food. The food's been good. The food's been really good today. I spent the time with my family. It's just been amazing, hasn't it? Yeah. I think the end of the parade. That was my highlight of the day. The end of the parade, when Santa basically, he, he that basically. That's gonna be mine. You stole it. What the end of the parade? Just like the parade in general. Well, the parade in general. That's Sarah's highlight. Santa was the um, sign in as well. Yeah. 
that was exactly what I was yeah. just about to say. So Santa was doing sign language to the to the to the kids to the to the people watching, and um, at the end he was just like basically they, he said that thank you for coming, Merry Christmas from Disney and Santa, and we love we love you. It was, it was just really nice, wasn't it? Tomorrow, <clears throat> do you know where we're going, Cam? DCA. Back to DCA. We can't wait. We've still got a few things we want to do there. I think we did a lot of Di- uh, Disneyland in the in the two days we've done. Not everything. Which means we have to come back. We're looking forward to you uh, joining us tomorrow for day five of our vlog series. Thank you for watching today. If you'd like to, subscribe um, down below. Hit the bell if you want to see the next um, series uh, episodes in this series. And uh, yeah, comment down below. I asked a few questions in this vlog series, but um, in this episode, sorry. But the question, yeah, is basically, what do you get when you go to Walmart? That's one question I want to know because we want to keep adding to this list and uh have you ever had in and out burger thanks for watching guys um and we'll see you on the next one at dca bye, bye.